Hello everybody and welcome to Week in Technology. Uh, my name is Karamjit. Hey, you took out the yet. Y- yeah. <laughs> okay, and it would miss my co-host uh, Aisha Mustafa. Yes, Aisha, what about the yet? No, because every week you go, welcome to a yet another week in tech. You know, it sounds as though that you're droning on and it's like, oh, it's another one. <laughs> no, actually, I, I thought it made it seem exciting. Like, you know, hey, you know, we've got yet. What you say? Really? <laughs> okay, you can't Photoshop stuff like this, but uh, I'll... I'll add to my enthusiasm in future then. Okay, I shall stop distracting me. Uh, th- anyway, I was going to uh, uh, say that uh, this once I think on the show we both wore the color purple. So after that we said, hey, we should stop wearing, trying to stop wearing the same color. And uh, luckily I was veering towards wearing purple today, but I'm glad I changed my mind at the last minute because I see you're decked in purple. Yeah, <laughs> feeling happy today. Okay, excellent. Uh, anyway, the cover story for the coming week is on a very important, the most important government agency when it comes to collections. And I'm not talking about the police force, uh, but talking about the... Uh, Inland Revenue Board of Malaysia. That's what IRB stands for, okay. I, I, I know what the Malay acronym stands for, yeah, but not I IRB. <laughs> I took some time trying to find that out. <laughs> okay, anyway, Aisha did an interview with... Um, is it... Is it Dato? It is Dato, yeah. So, Dato Hasma Abdullah who also served the CEO also, you know, slash uh, uh, Director General of IRB uh, Malaysia. So, Aisha, take it away. What do we know about what they're doing? You know, uh, is uh, our tax dollars being well spent? I hope so. (laughs) Unfortunately, I I don't think I got much out of that interview. (laughs) But, uh, uh, well, the thing, I mean, e-filing has been around since 2006. And uh, I think the total cost for the last three years is 34.7 million. In terms of the uh, infrastructure costs in for rolling out the of, service? Uh, I think it's the infrastructure and okay. the applications. Rolling out the services would fall under uh, branding and marketing, which is entirely okay. different. So uh, I'm not so sure whether that figure is actually um, um, uh, you know, too large or too small, okay. but actually a, a big portion of the 34.7 million actually went to... Uh, uh, DG Cert Sanya Berhad because they did the digital certificates okay, okay. and that's 11.5 million and uh, they yeah. told me that DG Cert is actually one of the two only two companies yeah. authorized by the government to provide digital certificates yeah. and such services so they MSC Trustgate yeah, and the other one okay. is MSC Trustgate and they went with DG Cert okay. and, um, um, okay. interesting why they didn't go you know give both of them an uh, e- equal measure of the business so you, you lock in only with one I think it's easier to um, um, do just just with one because if you do with both of them then you would need for both of them to integrate oh is it okay yeah, so that, I'm that sure MSC be. Trusted will, will, you know, will, will not agree with your argument or your points yeah, well, maybe it's less headache on them maybe just to deal with one person yeah but um, um, I think the, throughout the whole interview I mean I think that, that they were trying to push for me to write about how um, tardy we are when it comes to uh, filing our taxes filing because tax, apparently yeah, okay. for this year 50% of the total e-filers did it in the last three days. Last three days, yeah. yeah you you so can see that in the chart too. We're going to flash it up. And it's quite phenomenal. In the last two days, was it? The <laughs> last, uh, last three days, yeah. Incredible. <laughs> of which I think some of us are guilty also in this studio. Yeah, no wonder I couldn't get in, you know. It's terrible, but, but according to them, But according to them, it's not their, appli- it's not their servers. Okay. And it's definitely it's not their internal bandwidth. Okay. Because they say that... Uh, um, even at peak period, their application service is only fully utilized up to 40%. 40%, even okay. 100%. Okay. So I'm not so sure how they did the calculation, but basically they're saying that it's the connections coming in. So it's all those streamix mm-hmm. and, and, and mm-hmm. maxes and all those broadband mm-hmm. connections mm-hmm. that's coming in mm-hmm. that's slowing it down. So, okay. uh, um, But they say that next year they're hoping to increase their, because currently their internal bandwidth is about 69 meg. 69 meg, more than yeah. enough, you'd uh, say. I ho- well, I don't know. I don't okay. know. I'm hoping for at least a one gig, but okay. you know, it's Malaysia. Yeah, but course. they 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 uh, definitely looking to increase it next year for that certain peak period okay, only because okay. everybody seems to the last three days, last yeah, three days, last yeah. three days. So now know, that you've said it, now everybody is going to just hey, I'll just wait for the last three days because it's going to be a breeze. They're going to open up a huge pipe on the last three days. I don't think so. I don't, don't bank on it. It's really definitely better to file it. You know, if anyone has filed it in the last three days, you know what the headache is. You know, waiting yeah. for your connection for two hours. So yeah, um, yeah you should definitely file it. Okay, earlier. all right. 
Interesting. I, I think they made an interesting point about uh, uh, allowing you on your smartphone also, right, to, to do your e-filing. When you said the issue was screen size and also... Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, uh, mobile e-filing. I mean, the, the thing, the issue is just that it's... it's Because uh, it's it's a list of forms. Okay. So it takes some time. It's a uh, long data entry that you... So people without smartphones, yeah. you know, it's... Without smartphone, yeah, definitely. Yeah, but those with smartphones can manage it then. So they okay. say that um, right now they're actually not looking into doing uh, okay. mobile e-filing. But okay. what they can do is that they'll uh, do uh, reminders... So they'll send you reminders to your mobile saying, okay. you know, you need to for your Yeah, taxes. yeah, okay. Yeah. Very good. All right. Good. Thanks a lot for that, Aisha. So, uh, and I assume you're going to be uh, on the dot. Did you file e do e-filing this year? Uh, yeah, I did. I did, okay. I, I tried to, uh, like, on the last four days, but I couldn't get in. So, at about five minutes to midnight, you know, this past April, uh, I was, you know, uh, rushing up the stairs, you know, and then putting my forms in. <laughs> And just looking around, What's hoping nobody sees, you know, uh, a, a technology journalist, you know, manually putting in his tax claim. <laughs> that was uh, quite embarrassing. But was there a lot of people? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. There okay. was not that many, but there was a fair yeah. number. Yeah, I guess Malaysia Bole then. <laughs> yeah, for the wrong reasons. But anyway, okay, our second story was uh, it was on uh, Basis Bay, uh, Datuk Prabha, Tiagaraja, and the opening of their green data center. And we actually, the Net Value team visited Basis Bay Data Center uh, two days ago, right, on Tuesday, mm -hmm. which was quite interesting. And that's the second uh, data center, new data center that Aisha and me have visited. I think about five years ago, I visited uh, a TM's uh, data center in Brickfields. And that was just, uh, I can just remember that. And we've got pictures of that too, and it's, it's a mess compared to the data centers you well, see today. But that ago. was a fully occupied data center, though, right. you know, so it's different. And then, and now, no, these were both new data centers, not yet occupied, or they showed us rooms which were empty yet, without, you know, servers, and without space being leased out. But what did you think of, you know, uh, Basis Bay's data center, or their strategy, you know, in moving up the value chain, and where, what role the data center plays? Uh, I do think, I mean, I do think that data centers will play, I mean, I mean, according to all the reports that I've read, I mean, it will be. I mean, the market is, is there's always room for expansion, but then that's what all these reports say anyway. Mm, okay. But uh, Basis Bay, what, I mean, I've, uh, I've previously uh, gone to CSF before. Mm -hmm. and, um, um, one thing that strikes me about uh, Basis Bay that is different is that, you know, they have a lot of green initiatives okay. that they're doing. I mean, I mean, well, the thing is with data centers, you know, for you to make a certain mark, as in Tier 4 ready yeah. or Tier 3, you know, you need to have... Know, these, tier uh, three these plus, uh, tier, uh, yeah, tier, tier yeah, three yeah. plus. You know, you need to have all these things in place. So technically, you can't really say that you know, you're um, um, you know, so much different from the other. Or you can value add with like services yeah. and, and and things like that. And I think one of his value add is his green initiatives. Is, and not only that, I think it's his uh, the skill set that they bring also because you know you can have a data center which is really a, a piece of physical infrastructure, and you lease out space you know within your data center, you know, to to parties who want to use it, right? And, and that's it. And Basis Bay can do that. But like I said, they have a menu of options for customers. And they can also operate, you know, offer services to customers. And they were saying some yeah, customers want to come in and, you know, just uh, say, you know, uh, what kind of server space can you give us? And can you do these kind of services yeah, for us, they, right? Yeah, I call it Smart Hands. Smart yeah. Hands, yeah. And, and that's the value add and the premium that they can charge. Yeah, and so it comes from them, sorry, uh, of Prabhas, you know, early history in 96 of doing refurbish, you know, hardware, mainly servers, right? They build up the engineering capabilities and the maintenance capabilities. And they also had to operate a, a, a disaster recovery site. And coming from a user perspective of, you know, uh, uh, running data centers, now building the data center from a user perspective, you know, is it, a huge advantage to them. And the services they can offer, that's interesting. But what I was most impressed with was that, you know, they, they've got the third phase to basis-based growth strategy, which is services. And, and that's really cloud computing. But I was impressed that throughout the two hours, two and a half hours we were there, nobody needed Dato or his team, you know, mentioned the word cloud computing, <laughs> which is almost, you know, uh, you know, one side of the other, you know, when you talk about data centers and cloud computing. So I was quite impressed with the self-discipline because you can watch for it in the next few months or whatever. You're going to hear a lot of things about cloud computing services, you know, from Basis Bay. If not next few months, maybe next year for sure, late next year. But anyway, with that, we'll leave you with the tantalizing thought of Basis Bay's uh, next step ahead. Uh, but for now, we're gonna, uh, come, we've come to the end of another show. Uh, we thank you for your comments and feedbacks. And believe you me, we have been getting them, not through email, but people will, when we meet up with them, they, they share their opinions about the show. 
um, and it's been heartening for us. But you know, do be critical too, and let us know how we can improve it. Obviously, those people who've been watching the show know that there's a light-hearted theme, you know, feel to the show because we don't want it to be stuffy. Uh, we want it to be light and easy, but yet meaningful at the same time. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if we've managed that balance. It's for you to judge. But with that, uh, we leave you with that thought. Um, have a great and productive week ahead with technology, and we'll see you next week.